Hello Youtubers, I'm Parways and this is our first video in Python 3 programming language from B6 up to Advanced. Uh, this is our first video and in this video I'm going to have a simple introduction to Python programming language, especially Python 3 and also how you can download Python 3, how you can install and at the end we are going to create our first Hello World uh, uh, console application in Python programming language. So first of all, Python is a high-level interpreted scripting language. It was developed in 1980 by uh, Gaido. <coughs> the initial version of Python was published in 1991, and the first version of Python was released in 1994. It was Python version uh, 1.0. Uh, Python 2 was released in 2000, and in 2008, Python 3 was developed with some small changes. Uh, now, why we choose Python? So there, as you know, there are a lot of programming language that you can use, but why we choose Python? So there are different reasons that you can prefer Python programming language. I have chosen some of them. For example, the first one, Python is free, and uh, the second one, Python is simple. So if uh, you are not a programmer and you want to uh, start programming and uh, you want to uh, learn your first programming language so Python is the best language for you for starting and also Python is portable um, the fourth one that you can use Python in AI artificial intelligence and machine learning there are there are a lot of libraries that you can use uh, uh, in machine learning field for example if you want to uh, be a data science data scientist you can use Python for example we have uh, uh, libraries like matplotlib for data visualization we have uh, pandas we have numpy and also we have scikit-learn or s we can call it, call it scalar for uh, machine learning supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning uh, you can create nice GUIs in Python using PyQt5, Tkinter, WX Python. So there are a lot of GUI libraries that you can create uh, uh, nice and complex graphical user interface applications using uh, Python GUI libraries. Uh, the sixth one, uh, you can create web applications using Python, uh, using Python. There are some good libraries. For example, we have Django, one of the best uh, uh, Python web development uh, library. We have Flask, we have a uh, pyramid. So there are a lot of uh, web libraries. Also, we can use Python for web sc scrapping. So there are a lot of usage of Python that uh, you can learn Python. Uh, now, when we are going to uh, start programming with Python language, we need to an ID, uh, integrated development environment. So you can use PyCharm ID. Uh, if you go to the JetBrain website, there are two versions of Python. So we have uh, a community version and we have commercial version. So, <coughs> a community version is completely free. You can download it and install it in your computer. So, now we are going to uh, create our first Hello World in Python language. Okay, before creating our first Hello World application in Python, uh, uh, Python language, you can download Python from www.python.org so the installation is uh, easy and simple there is no problem you can see in the downloads we have Python 3.7 and this is the latest version and uh, I am using Python 3.6 so there is no change uh, you can download the latest version and work with it so after downloading that you can simply install on your uh, computers uh, and also you can check for example you can check your Python version uh, Python you can see that I'm using Python 3.6 okay now uh, I have opened my PyCharm ID so I have already installed I have created a project now I'm going to create a Python file right click Python file I call it hello world so you can simply write uh, if you know if you're familiar with uh, some programming language, for example, uh, if you're familiar with uh, C++, in C++ we have C out for printing uh, uh, something to the uh, console screen. 
or if you're using you're familiar with Java language we can use system.out.println uh, uh, if you're, you, uh, you're familiar with C sharp we can use uh, console.writeline so in Python you can simply write print hello world just simple now I'm going to run it right click on PyCharm and run hello world now you can see we have an hello world uh, you can copy this and let me print it again uh, print uh, mm, or hello Python developers so let me run it and you can see hello Python developers so this was our first video thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos subscribe to the to my channel